So I would ask this committee to really think hard about this application. I've been past there with a nice cream bar, you know, and you couldn't get down the path. And also, um, they say they'll remove the tables, but I can't see that happening. When people sit at a table outside, they spread out even further. And all wheelchairs are different sizes, so please think of that on this application. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now I'd like to call on Mr. Francesco Genovese.
have been put this in in the last three months. There's not been any queues. So this is where we need the tables outside. This is where we want uh, to give people the opportunity to sit outside. And for me, uh, personally, we can clearly specify that when we open the window, especially where the gelato side is, uh, we won't put tables there. Because simply, you cannot have both. Thank you very much for the Uh, I mean, I understand people's concerns. I'm somewhat disappointed that a lot of councillors are choosing to vote, you know, purely only thinking of one consideration. And obviously, pedestrian access is is part of it, and and the, and the balancing the different needs. And, and I think, you know, officers obviously give a view, and we can decide whether we agree with that. Officers' professional view is that there is enough space for these sort of uh, city centre locations, then you know that's that's probably what I think about. And I I looked at obviously I've looked at this site. I actually took photos myself and sent them to the officers, and I made the point that it wouldn't be appropriate or be possible to have the hatch open and have tables there at the same time. And you know I, I support this um, proposal, uh, and I think it makes sense that you know at the busiest times of day. That the tables won't be there, and this is for the quieter times. Um, and I think there is, I think there is sufficient space. I mean, the city centre has, is very limited, you know, and and I think it's important to try and encourage uh, a vibrant <coughs> city centre. Uh, but yes, it is always going to be difficult because our streets aren't particularly wide. But I think, you know, I think they are sufficiently wide to enable. Uh, a controlled number of chairs and tables. And as I've said, the reality is, if you don't have some licences, then it's not going to stop some proprietors, obviously not necessarily the ones here today, but not going to stop some proprietors from doing so. And there are a number of proprietors in the city centre that we have had ongoing problems with because efficient licences haven't been in place. Application. This one isn't uh, just what it's wearing, there are clearly uh, a whole lot of um, issues to be balanced. And on the previous one, the balance came down uh, one way and this may well be different, but it's about balancing the, um, uh, the issues that are put forward, obviously, that we're aware of. Uh, quite rightly, um, uh, Council Burns uh, within their right to make a point about uh, <coughs> issues of uh, disability um, uh, movement and uh, the issue of. Um, uh, accessibility in regard to this application, we have to judge that against the other uh, factors uh, as well. I mean, this is clearly during the majority of time, knowing it quite well, having looked out from our planning committees on regular occasions, uh, it's not particularly as uh, busy as other parts of the city during um, uh, certain times of day, uh, what is in particular. It has become in essence, a sort of boom bridge sort of water by, you know, the fact that different organisations have taken over the premises nearby. Um, it is a, a different um, a context to the previous application, therefore we need to look at it fairly squarely. Um, there is, there is um, clearly um, a wish uh, from a business point of view to encourage sort of uh, use of premises um, other than sort of peak sort of summer times and other, other times, and we have to respect that in terms of uh, uh, the importance of trying to uh, assist sort of business vitality. Um, it is uh, pretty similar with the previous application. The difference is, I think, most of the time of day, the thoroughfare, sorry, the throughfare is a lot, lot less. Uh, that's where I'm sort of looking at it. Thank you. That's um, I'm fearful that people might think I'm against Catholic society, which I'm not. I, don't know. I love sitting outside drinking soft drinks. <laughs> 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 I must have soft drinks. Um, so that, with that little bit of the background, I'd just like to say that um, I can understand why tables are designed outside these premises, but also to put it in the context of we all know that area. That is the arts theatre there, for example. 
um, which is thriving. And yes, they have moved the entrance around to the side. But when that arts theatre is operating, there are huge millions around at the front there. There are coaches pulling up with school children and no legs entrance and so on and so forth. So this is a massively busy area. Well, I'm just going to emphasize on when the theatre is operating. Uh, and it's not just night time, there's going to be the matinee performances as well. So that's one thing I've put to mind. And those who like Cafe Society, um, and I'm not trying to want the line of business, but there is plenty of uh, tables just further down in the Peace Hill area there, in a broader pedestrian area, where it, it, and I say, emphasize the word broader, which, and it's broad enough down there for people to pass by in wheelchairs, or, um, prams, and so on. Um, and I'm, I'm very concerned about having tables outside these premises there, where the pavement is not that broad, there's up some uh, lamppost there, which is uh, unfortunately situated in, in such a place that people will either decide to go between the lamppost and the, the tables, or they go out onto the, the road. Um, and the peak time and um, concession, I suppose, um, I'm just a bit worried about that, because the, in, in the actual practice, what would happen? Um, wouldn't there be undue pressure on management and staff to be picking up tables and chairs to sort of bring them in because it's, there it's it's busy um, and I can't see that happening in reality. Um, and where will the tables and chairs go? Um, so that's another reason why I think it's superfluous I think, to have those tables and chairs there because there's there's, there's an abundance of other premises there that people want to sit outside. And bring. Uh, I think you could, depending on how the vote goes here, I think you might you will have to make a business decision, I think. It's either you know, ice cream through the hatch with big queues there, and we know there are big queues there, I've seen myself. I, mean, I don't want visually impaired people <coughs> running that gauntlet um, of big queues. And I think you'll make a decision whether you're going to have ice cream going inside through the hatch or tables and chairs. I just, I just don't think there's enough space there for both. Thank you, that's Tom. Um, just to remind the committee that we are actually looking at the objections to this specific TRO. Um, while we may have used about how businesses should be run or where it desirable to be able to have to sit outside of a coffee, we are actually looking at uh, this particular case. So if I could encourage members to speak to the proposal, <coughs> that would be appreciated. Um, that's a smart. Thank you. Um, I also I mean, have some doubts about this particular one. I, I'm just not quite sure how practical it is to be taking the chairs in, chair, chair and table in, when it, the more to open the hatch or when it's a peak time. Because what happens is there are people sitting there, you sort of whip them away with all the things as well. Um, on the other hand, um, it's uh, it is not as busy a place most of the time than the previous application, though each one should be done on its merits anyway, so perhaps I shouldn't be saying that. Uh, however, the, there is, the traffic is, a quite, is, is comparatively small and going slowly. Well, that, that's badly worded. There is not much traffic in that little road, that cul-de-sac. Um, though in actual fact, the um, the, the biggest bit of traffic would be great. It would be a great big um, the theatre uh, lorry, which might well park there. Um, but that does mean that the most of the time going onto the road is not going to be a problem. I think it's not a straightforward one, this one, but I think that I'm going to come down on voting for it. Knowing that, it would have to be reviewed after a year, and if it hasn't worked, and if there have been problems getting the table in when they want to open the hatch, then it wouldn't be renewed. So that's, going, that's my thinking. Thank you. Um, I've got four more speakers. Um, 
this area of Cambridge city centre has changed quite a lot. There used to be banks and uh, offices around there. Most of them had other struggles. There are a lot more people walking around that area than there used to be. And this pavement is not really that wide, and it's, as has been described, it's constrained by the lamppost. Incidentally, <coughs> they also have a frame outside, which is just opposite the lamppost. So they're not helping themselves in, in, in their argument. Uh, at this time of year, there's not uh, the, the football we get from all the tourists here, and the students are milling around after their exams. And I think you know this, this is a busy area. It's much busier than it used to be. I do think we need to protect the, the people who need the street for the payments to uh, from, from being constrained. So I will vote against this. Thank you, Chair. On the other hand, 
I do also see that um, it's important for people to be able to be mobile in Cambridge, and that's an equality issue for all people, those with um, physical disabilities, sight disabilities, and so on. So although I have a great deal of sympathy for the small business and for the way that the case has been presented, ultimately my view is that we do need to err on the side of acknowledging and recognising those who have physical disabilities and disabilities that impede their capacity to move around. We, we have to actually appreciate that they have a right to come into Cambridge and to be able to move around without obstruction. Thank you. Thanks, Chair. I want to take one second. I've also got a lot of sympathy for the, the, the applicant. I mean, it's, uh, he clearly does, he's um, uh, concerned about the problems of access there, but I thought that's a good interest to respond to something that Councillor Manning said, um, which is about the potential for uh, building up pavement and considerations around that sort of thing. Um, I'm not going to come back and uh, talk about the prospects of local business getting together and doing that, but I would want to mention that uh, one of the things that we took into consideration when we were talking about putting more bike racks in the city centre, especially around there, was the necessity for not removing disabled parking in that area. But that is one of the few areas within the city centre where you will have more disabled people accessing the area than you would normally. So it is a slightly more sensitive area, even though the footfall is less. Thank you. Um, I should give you my own view on this. It is really very different to the other application we had. It's not as busy, but I, I do agree with those who pointed out that the kind of vehicles that park on this little street are large, and they're floating. And if they've got the door open and you've got um, a more narrow pavement, it, it could well be difficult for a wheelchair to get through. Because chairs and tables may start to be in one position, but you know, obviously people move around in their chairs. Um, I have looked at both points of view, and while I have two sympathetic to local businesses, I think you know, the main objection that, that speaks to me is the one from people with disabilities not being able to get around as easily. And although we don't know how many people are out here, we have some people who've come to talk to us today here, or to listen to our debates, who clearly are those who might not be affected by a, a more narrow pavement. So, so I'm minded to vote against the application, so I think <coughs> and also because there's a public building that's in the sense of Guildhall, which people need to be able to get to easily. Um, I think everybody's spoken who wishes to speak, so sorry, did you no, say something else? Right. No, okay, so 